when you are migrating from one place to another you will be needing some sort of currency or an exchange mode because at that time nothing had been set as to what would be the exchange currency and things like that so they had to carry something which could be used as an exchange mode they were also carrying their expertise their knowledge their skill besides they were also carrying diseases to these distant lands and diseases which were unknown in those places well in india the first currency that was used was the cordis i have told you the meaning of the word cordi that is the sea shells so these people who were moving from one country to another were using cordis as an exchange medium now one important route which came up because of this is called as the silk route as i told you since silk was the main item of trade here that is why it was called as the silk route it connected china with the european countries we see the lot of chinese silk cargoes and also so many other materials were being transported here now this is leading to trade and cultural exchange when you come to another country you pick up certain habits and ideas which actually influence you or which you like and you take them back to your country which means cultural exchange now here not only the trade and the cultural exchanges were going on but also side by side the missionaries were actually doing their work first of all here we see that the buddhist missionaries went on on their work to spread buddhism to various lands and if i talk of ashoka in india he was the son, he was the person who had sent his son and his daughter to to another land to spread buddhism then came the christian missionaries who too wanted to spread their religion and this was the route that was taken then it were the muslims who were looking for changing the world to a muslim religion so we see that the silk route was a route of trade cultural exchanges and a route for the medium of spreading their religion and i continue with the story in the next clipping